Hi everyone, it's Kino here. Thank you so much for joining me on this Ashtanga challenge. Um, hi everyone, it's Kino here. Thanks so much for joining me on this Ashtanga challenge. I am really looking forward to sharing this practice with you. This will be the most traditional uh, practice that we've done up until now. So I'm starting off standing because we're going to jump right in and start in Samasthitihi. We will be making it through about half primary series today. There will be lots of as always, offerings of different variations of the asanas. So the most important thing is that, well, there's a couple of most important things. First of all, that you focus on coordinating your breath with your movement. It's practice, not performance. Number two, you always adjust and adapt the pose and the practice so that it meets your body where it is, understanding that every day might be a little bit different, okay? And number three, your intention is always deep breathing. If the asana is too stressful and the breath isn't there, then we want to go back to you know, option number one, option number two, which is focus on coordinating breath with movement and then change the asana. So just remember deep breathing with sound. That's our main goal throughout the practice. Okay, let's head on over to Samasthitihi, hands in prayer position. And now we'll do the Ashtanga Yoga opening prayer. Om. One day Guru Nam Charanada Vinde Sandarshita Swat Masukava Bode Nishre Yase Jangalikaya Mane Samsara Hala Hala Mohashantiye Abahu Purushakaram Shenka Chakra Sidharinam Sahasra Shirasam Shwetam Pranamami Patanjalim Connect into the breath, connect into the pelvic floor. Gently let your hands rest down by your sides. Now we begin Surya Namaskar A. A, come inhale, extend the arms. Deep breath in. Dwe exhale, fold forward, go down. Trini, inhale, your chest moves forward. Chitwari, exhale, let's step or jump back, lower down. Pancha, inhale, upward facing. Shut, exhale, downward facing. That's good, deep breaths. One, two, steady the mind, three, focus and concentrate, four, five, switch your gaze forward, Sapta, inhale, step or jump forward, Ashta, exhale, fold. Nava, inhale all the way up. Samasthitihi. Good job. Again. A, come inhale. Deep breath. Dwe, exhale. Fold. Trini, inhale. Chitwari, exhale. All the way back. Lower down. Pancha, inhale. Gaze at the nose even if the head drops back. Shut, exhale. Downward facing, settle in. Remember all the alternatives if any of the asanas feel too intense today. Two, three, four, steady your breath. Five, switch your gaze forward. Sapta, inhale, step or jump forward. Ashto, exhale, fold. Nava, inhale all the way up. Samasthitihi. Very good. Again, A, come inhale. Find the center line. That's good. Dwe, exhale, fold. Trini, inhale. Chest moves forward. Chitwari, exhale. Step or jump back. Lower down. Pancha, inhale. Big breath in. 
Shut, exhale. Downward facing. That's good. Deep breathing. One. Two. Remember all the versions of the asana and find the one that works for you. Three. Four. Five, switch your gaze forward and sapta, inhale, step or jump forward. Ashto, exhale, fold. Nava, inhale all the way up. Samastitihi, back to standing. Two more times. Ekam, inhale. Dwe, exhale. Trini, inhale. Chatwari, exhale, go back, lower down. Pancha, inhale. Shut, exhale. Stay for five. One. Deep breathing. Two. Feel your breath, body, mind connection. Three. Feel, don't force the body. Four. Five, let's switch the gaze forward. Sapta, inhale, come on forward. Ashto, exhale, fold. Nava, inhale all the way up. Big breath in. Samastitihi, back to standing. One more time, last one. E, come, inhale. Dwe, exhale. Trini, inhale. Chatwari, exhale, step or jump back, lower down. Pancha, inhale, gaze at the nose tip. Shut, exhale. Send the hips back and up, downward facing. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, let's switch the gaze forward. Good, Sapta, inhale. Step or jump forward, lift the chest. Ashto, exhale, fold. Nava, inhale, all the way up. Reach, extend, Samastitihi. Nice. Surya, namaskar to B. Looking good, everyone. Bend the knees. A, come, inhale with bent knees, arms up. The way, exhale, chest to the thighs, fold forward and down. Trini, inhale. Chitwari, exhale, step or jump back, lower down. Pancha, inhale, upward facing. Shut, exhale, downward facing. Sapta, inhale, warrior one, right side, let's step forward, raise the arms, deep breath in. Ashto, exhale, all the way down, chaturanga. Nava, inhale, dasha, exhale. Ekadasha, inhale, step forward, deep breath in. Extend the arms. Dwadasha, exhale, keep breathing out until you lower down. Trayogdasha, inhale. Chikturdasha, exhale. Back to downward facing. Remember, you need a break. You can always sink the knees down for a moment. One. Two. Three. You're going to find what works for your body. Catch your breath. Trust the practice. Four. Five, switch your gaze forward and panchadisha, inhale, step or jump your feet forward. Shodisha, exhale, fold. Saptadisha, inhale, bend your knees, raise your arms. Samastitihi, back to standing. Again, bend the knees. Ekam, inhale, welcome that heat. The way, exhale, fold forward, go down. Trini, inhale. Chatwari, exhale, step or jump back, lower down. Pancha, inhale. Shat, exhale. Sapta, inhale, right side, step it forward. Deep breath in. 
arsh to exhale all the way down. Nava, inhale. Dasha, exhale. Left side, Ekadisha, inhale, warrior one. Left side, raise the arms. Dwadisha, exhale. Come on back, lower down. Trayugdisha, inhale. Chikturudisha, exhale. That's good. Steady, deep breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Concentrate. Focus the mind. One more breath. Five. Switch your gaze forward. Panchadisha. Inhale. Step or jump your feet forward. Shodisha. Exhale. Fold. Bend the knees. Saptadisha. Inhale. Samastitihi. I'm back to standing. Good. All right, we're going to do one more time. Last one. You ready? Here we go. Akam. Inhale. Dwe. Exhale. Fold forward. Go down. Drini. Inhale. Chest away from the thighs. Chitwari. Exhale. Step or jump back. Pancha. Inhale. Upward facing. Shut. Exhale. Down. Sapta, inhale, right side. Keep inhaling until the arms lift. Ashto, exhale, all the way down. Nava, inhale. Dasha, exhale. Ekadasha, inhale, step forward, left side. Deep breath in. Dwadasha, exhale, all the way down. Drayogdasha, inhale. Chikturudisha, exhale, go back. Good job. Deep breaths. One. Two. Concentrate the mind. Keep feeling the body, don't force. Three. Take it easy. Nothing to prove, just do the practice. Four. Five, panchadisha, inhale, jump forward. Shodisha, exhale, fold. Saptadisha, inhale, bend the knees, raise your arms. Samastitihi, come on back up. Good job. First standing pose, Padangustasana. Separate the feet, pivot at the hip joints, hold on to the big toes. Akam, inhale. Dwe, exhale. Very good, deep breathing. One, shoulder blades down the back, free the neck. Two, make sure you open the eyes, gaze at the nose tip. Three, four, five. Trini, inhale, chest moves forward. Exhale here. Now we take Parahastasana, hands underneath your feet. That's good. Ekam, inhale, big breath in. Dwe, exhale, fold. Nice, don't ever do it. Wherever your forward fold gets to today, let it be for one. Shoulder blades away from the ears. Two, concentrate. Let's activate those quadriceps a little. That's good. Three. Four. Last breath. Five, Trini, inhale, chest moves forward. Exhale here, release, all the way up. Samastitihi, hands by your side, all right? Those of you who are gonna use the blocks, now's a chance to put them in place, all right? If you don't need the blocks, just don't put them out. <laughs> Utita Trikonasana A, A, come inhale, step out to the side, extend the arms. Good, Dwe, exhale, fold into the right hip joint. Hand on the block, on your ankle, or holding the big toe. One. Two. Three. Four, keep the legs active. 
Five, gaze down for a moment, train the inhale, come up, switch the sides, feel the left hip joint. Chitwari, exhale, fold, reposition the block if you need to. Gaze up at the right fingers, one. Two, align the hands with each other. Three, keep drawing the navel in, stay connected to the pelvic floor. Four, almost there, free the neck. Five, gaze down for a moment. Pancha, inhale, come up, switch the sides. Trikonathana B, revolve triangle. Leading with the left hand, Ndwe, exhale, fold. Taking the hand on the inside, on the block or on the outside, and now twist. One. Finding the gaze that works for you. Two. Three. Four. Five, Trini inhale all the way up, turn, face the front, lead with the right hand, that's it. Chitwari exhale, fold, inside, on the block, or on the outside. Try to line up the fingers and toes. One, two, deep breathing. Feel the ribs and the hips spiraling away from each other. Four. Five, good job. Pancha, inhale all the way up, extend the arms. Samastitihi, and back up to the front. Good. Utita Parsvar Konasana A. E, come inhale. Bigger step out to the side. Due, exhale, bend the right knee. Hook the forearm, hand on the block or hand on the floor. Extend left arm. One. Gaze at the left fingers, root into the left heel. Two. Three, work the inner body. So work the muscles that line the spine. Three, work the pelvic floor. Four, work the unseen channels. Five, Trini inhale, let's bring it up. Switch the sides. Chitwari exhale, fold. One, good, find the right side, get that extension. Two, all along the right side body, from the heel, out through the fingertips. Three, the navel draws in, free the neck. Four, we're almost there. Five, pancha, inhale all the way up, turn, face the back. Parsvakonasana B, Dwe, exhale, fold over. One, hands in prayer, reach and extend. Two, find what works for you. Three, four, five. Trini inhale all the way up. Chitwari exhale, bend the knee. Fold over, good. One, two, find what works. Three, many variations of this asana. Four, deep breathing. Five, pancha, inhale all the way up. Samastitihi, come on back up to the front. Good, prasadita parotanasana A. A, come inhale, step out to the side, hands on the waist. Dwe, exhale, fold, hands come down. I want to push the blocks away for now. Again, inhale, deep breath in, unless you're going to use them. And Trini, exhale, fold. We could be putting the head on a block if you want to. One, two, shoulder blades away from the ears, pivoting forward. Three, four, Five, sink the hips back. Chatwari, inhale, chest forward. Exhale here. Pancha, inhale, engage the front body and come all the way up and exhale. Ekum, inhale again, extends. Dwe, exhale, hands to the waist. Again, inhale, we get a big breath in. Trini, exhale, fold. Come on down. Tuck the head and lean a little forward. That's good. One, keep the shoulder blades away from the ears. Two, Quadriceps engaged, three, four, five. 
five, send the hips back. Chatwari, inhale all the way up and exhale. Good job. Ekam, inhale, extend the arms. The way exhale, interlace the fingers. Again, inhale, roll the shoulders forward and the chest up. And the Trini, exhale, fold. Relax the shoulders, no forcefulness. One, two. As you keep leaning forward, if the hands want to go to the ground, they'll get closer. Three, you can use a strap if it's too difficult or strenuous to take the bind here. Four, almost there. Five, pull the shoulders back and then chatwari. Inhale all the way up and exhale. That's good. And deep position, straight to the waist. Akam inhale, chest up only, don't extend the arms. And do exhale, fold immediately through the hip joints. Hold on to the big toes. Inhale again, we straighten the arms, give you a big breath in. And a trini exhale, top of the head towards the ground, shoulder blades away from the ears. That's it for one. Two, three, gaze at the nose tip, concentrate the mind, four, stay present to all your sensations, to every thought, every emotion, and focus internally. One more breath. Five, good job, hips back. Chitwari, inhale, chest forward, exhale here. And inhale, pancha, all the way up, hands to the waist. Samastitihi. Let's head on back to the front of the mat. Good job. Hands in prayer behind the back or holding onto the elbows, or you can make those fists and press them into each other, or we can take the hands to the ground. Parshvotanasana. Ekam inhale, the narrow one. Dwe exhale, chest to the right knee. Fold and reach. One. Two. Steady breathing, gaze at the nose or the toes. Four, almost there. Five, Trini inhale, let's bring it up. Turn, switch the sides, prepare. Find the alignment, feel the body. Chitwari, exhale, fold into the left hip joint as you go down. One, you can gaze at the toes. If it's strenuous for the neck, just drop the head down. Two, three, stabilize the pelvis, four, almost there, five, bandha, inhale all the way up. Let's extend the arms just to release for a moment. Nice, samastitihi, come on back up to the front. Good job. Okay, now we take our first balancing pose. I'm just gonna orient this way. Now, hands to the waist, we're moving into Utita Hasta Parangustasana. So let's find again our contact with the natural waist. Good, extend the arm. You can hold your big toe, you can hold under your shin, or you can use a strap. A, come, inhale, let's bring it up. Good, Ndwe, exhale, fold, one. Two, three, four, five. Trini, inhale, lift your chest. Chitwari, exhale, open out to the side. Switch the gaze. One, two, if you lost your balance, don't worry. Three, four, Five, pancha, inhale, back to the center. Shut, exhale, fold forward. Sapta, inhale, come up. Hands to the waist, balance. Your leg can be down, remember, it's okay. Just let's see a little up. Good job for one, two, three, four, and five. Exhale, samastitihi, good job. All right, everyone ready for the other side? Looking good, everyone's doing really well. Okay, here we go, left side, prepare. Ashto, inhale, using the strap or holding the knee, totally good. Nava, exhale, fold, one, two, three, four, Five, Dasha, inhale, come up. Ekadasha, exhale, out to the side. Change the gaze. One, two, three, four, 
five, dua desha, inhale, back to the center. <laughs> Trayog desha, exhale, fold. Chiktur desha, inhale, come up, good. Hands to the waist, balance, one. Don't give up, two, try to use the lower abdominal muscles, that will really help. Three, pull the hips back, good job, four. Five, samastitihi, excellent work. My thigh was burning too, so it's totally normal. Now we take the standing tree pose, half lotus position, fold forward, Ardha Bhadra Padmottanasana. A, come inhale, you wanna stay in tree, totally good. Or find your half lotus, bind or no bind, prepare. Dwe, exhale, fold forward. One, two, Three, steady breathing. Four, five, Trini, inhale, exhale. Come up onto your fingertips, then Shatwari, inhale, slowly come up. Pancha, exhale, Samastitihi. All right, nice, good. Many of you kept the balance, I'd love to see that. Let's switch the sides. Shot, inhale, external rotation. You can stay in tree pose, any variation of tree pose. Prepare, with the bind or without the bind. Sapta, exhale, fold. Only if your body feels ready. If you're not ready to fold forward, just stay and work your balance from standing. One, two, three, four, Five, ashto, inhale, exhale. Maybe come up onto the fingertips, then nava, inhale, slowly come up. I like to look down on the way up, it helps me keep my balance. Then, samastitihi, I'm back to standing. Good job. Okay, if you're not already at the front of the mat, let's head on over to the front of the mat. Hands by your side. Connect into the pelvic floor. A, come inhale, extend the arm. Dwe, exhale, fold. Trini, inhale, chest forward. Chitwari, exhale, step or jump back, lower down. Pancha, inhale, upward facing. Shat, exhale, downward facing. All right, now let's go into Utkatasana. I want you to bend your knees, maybe take the feet together before you jump. Switch the gaze forward. Sapta, inhale, jump, keep the knees bent. Immediately raise the arms, one. Remember the options, the arms can be open or we can press them together. Two, the palms together, not the arms. Three, four, find what works for you. Good job, keep breathing, sink back into the hips. Five, exhale, hands down. All right, we're gonna prepare for that little moment of lift or a little jump. Ashto, inhale, Nava, exhale, jump back. Dasha, inhale, upward facing. Ekadisha. Downward facing, Virabhadrasana A, warrior one. Sapta, inhale, right side, good. Feeling a heat, a sweat coming into the body, excellent. Raise the arms, one. Just like in the other asana, remember you can look forward, find what works for you. Two, three, four, Five, inhale, pivot, ashto, exhale. Left side, one, two, deep breathing, three, four, five, inhale. Nava, exhale, warrior two, left side, deep breaths. One, gaze at the left finger, sink down, feel the alignment. Two, three, easy does it, four. Keep working, don't overdo it. Five, inhale, dasha, exhale, right side. One, two, three, steady, equalize the breath. Remember to feel long, deep breaths. 
four. Nice, that's it, keep breathing. Five, exhale, hands down. Ekadasha, inhale, we can lift that right foot. Dwadasha, jump or step back, and chaturanga. Trayogdasha, inhale. Chikturudasha, exhale. Now we prepare to come through to seated. You wanna do the block straight from the beginning, you can, or you can let the first one just be gentle. Sapta, inhale, step or jump the feet forward. Dandasana position, rolling the shoulder blades down the back, draw the navel in. One. And bases of the big toes reaching towards each other. Two. Your toes reaching back towards the head. Three. Four. Five, Pashima Tanasana, pivot forward, holding big toes, or any variation. You can use the strap or take the hands to the ankles. Ashto, inhale, prepare. Nava, exhale, fold. One. Two. Three. Four, five, dasha, inhale, straighten the arms, exhale here, deepen your Paschimottanasana. You can hold on to the soles of the feet and to lace the fingers, or some of you may be able to wiggle the hips and increase your hip flexion so you could hold on to the wrist. But remember, practice, not performance. Ashto, inhale, prepare. Nava, exhale, fold. One, two, Three, four, five, and dasha, inhale, chest up, exhale there, look at the toes, good. Hands to the ground, let's cross the feet. Ikadasha, inhale, we pick it up. Dwadasha, step or jump back, lower down. Trayog disha, inhale. Chiktur disha, exhale. Switch the gaze forward. Sapta, inhale. Step or jump forward. Straighten the legs. Purvatanasana, reverse plank or reverse tabletop. You get to decide. Ashta, inhale. Hips up and forward. One. Roll the shoulders forward and expand the chest. Two. Gaze at the nose tip. Three. Feel the power inside the pelvis, lifting it up. Four, let's do one more. Five, Nava, exhale down. Good job. Dasha, inhale, we pick it up. Ikadasha, step or jump back. Lower down. Dwadasha, inhale. Trayogdasha, exhale. Switch the gaze forward. Sapta, inhale. Step or jump forward. All the way down. Now, bend your right knee, Ardha Baddha Padma, Paschima Tanasana. Externally rotate the hip joint. Slide that foot up. Prepare. The knee needs support. Let's put that block under. The bind is not accessible. We can always get that strap in place. Ashto, exhale, folds. One. Two. Easy does it, no force. Three. Four, looking at the nose or forward to the toes. Five, Nava, inhale, exhale. Dasha, inhale, we pick it up. Ekadasha, step or jump back, lower down. Dwadasha, inhale. Trayogdasha, exhale. Chikturadasha, inhale, jump. Switch the sides. One side might be different than the other, so you can explore. Panchadisha, exhale, fold. One. Easy does it. Two, watch your shoulders. Don't pull yourself into the forward bend. If you're only here, no problem. Just be there and breathe. Three. Four. Five. Shodisha, inhale. Exhale. Remove your lotus. Sapta dusha. Inhale. Let's pick it up. Asta dusha. Step or jump back. Lower down. 
Ekuna vimshatihi, inhale, deep breath in. Vimshatihi, exhale, downward facing. Sapta yen, step or jump forward. Tirdiyang muke kapara, pashima tanasana. This is another one where maybe you want a block. You can use the block. Elevate the hips. Sometimes a block is too much. Maybe you just need like a little blanket. Also, okay. Breathe in, prepare. Ashto, exhale, fold. One. Try to keep the knees spiraling towards each other. We're looking at the nose or forward to the toes. Two. Three. Deep breathing. Four. Almost there. Five. Nava. Inhale. Exhale. Remove the block. All right. Dasha, inhale, we pick it up. Ekadasha, jump back or step back. Chaturanga. Dwadasha, inhale. Prayogdasha, exhale. Switch the sides. Chaturdasha, inhale, jump. All right, one side might be different than the other, so move the calf muscle out of the way. You can explore. Any pressure in the front of the knee, grab the block. Inhale, prepare. Panchadisha, exhale, fold. One. Two, steady breathing. Three, push back into the left hip a little bit and then reach out with the thigh bone. Four. Five. Shodisha, inhale. Exhale. Saptadisha, inhale. Let's pick it up. Astadisha, jump or step back. Lower down. Ekuna vimshatihi, inhale. Vimshatihi, exhale. Janisha shasana, A. Sapta, inhale. Jump all the way through. And close the knee joint out to the side. Good. Feeling that inner fire? Excellent. Reach forward. Remember, you can support the knee with the block if that's better for you. And ashto, exhale, fold. One. Chest reaches over. Two. Three. You can look at the nose or forward to the toes. Four. Keep the lower abdomen in. Let's do one more breath. Five. Nava, inhale, exhale. Good. Want to try to do a little jump back and jump through with the blocks? Now they're handy, so let's set them up. All right. Good. Dasha, inhale, we pick it up. Ekadasha, jump back. Dwadasha, inhale. Trayogdasha, exhale. Chikturdasha, inhale, jump all the way through. Switch the sides. Panchadisha, exhale, fold, one, two, steady the breath, three, watch the navel, keep it in, four, Five, shodisha, inhale, exhale. All right, want to try again with the blocks? Saptadisha, inhale, let's pick it up. Astadisha, jump back, chaturanga. Ekuna vimshatihi, inhale, vimshatihi, exhale. Sapta again, janashasasana, B, all the way through and down. All right, now let's move those blocks out of the way. B position. We're gonna do A again, so let's get into that. And then, pick the butt completely up, all the way up. Make sure the sole of the foot is pointing up, and then you're gonna sit on the foot. So both your sitting bones completely off the ground. Orient forward. If there's any pressure in the knee, you wanna repeat the A position. Hands can be on the ground or hold forward. Ashto, exhale, fold. One, two, find what works for you. Try to keep a little lift in the pelvis. Three, four, almost there, five, Nava, inhale, exhale, pick yourself off your foot, cross your feet, Dasha, inhale, we pick it up, Ekadasha, jump back, step back, Chaturanga, Dwadasha, inhale, 
Trayo, disha, exhale. Chikchur disha, inhale, jump. Let's prepare to switch the sides. Good, bend the left knee out to the side, heel to the pubic bone. Once the heel makes contact with the pubic bone, you're ready to pick it up, then come all the way forward. Remember, both your sitting bones off the ground, and then turn the chest forward. Good, hands can be on the ground if you feel unstable, strong pelvic floor. Hands can hold the foot or even hold onto your wrist. Pancha disha, exhale, fold. One, concentrate on the inner sensations, two, gaze at the nose tip or forward to the toes, three, four, five, shodisha, inhale, exhale, come back off of the foot, saptadisha, inhale, let's pick it up, astadisha, all the way back, lower down. Ekuna vim shatahi inhale, vim shatahi exhale. Janu shirashasana C position. Sapta inhale, jump. And now we prepare. Let's use the block again. So you're going to sit on the block, especially if you haven't tried this before. The block will give your foot a little extra space. And I want you to come down and demi point your foot so the weight puts pushes into the ball of your foot. Okay, we're trying to bend the big toe joint back, and we're trying to get at least a 90 degree angle in the big toe joint. Now this isn't the posture. Then you're gonna externally rotate the hip joint and maintain that 90 degree angle in your big toe joint. It might not be there, but we try to work towards it. Then push weight into the big toe joint. Do not try to push the knee down. If we're trying on the block, maybe you don't need to fold too much forward and we can just stay here. Ashto exhale, little fold. One, you're feeling in the toes? That's really all you need. Two, three, don't push the knee to the ground. Pay attention to the foot and the movement in the ankle and the hip. Three, four, left leg stays active. Five, Nava, inhale. Exhale, let's remove it. Ndasha, inhale, we can pick it up. Ekadasha, find your way back. Chaturanga. Ndwadasha, inhale. Trayogdasha, exhale. Chikturadasha, inhale, jump. Prepare to switch the sides. I like using the black, I'm gonna use it for the both sides. So let's sit on that. Let's take a moment. I'm going to demi point the foot. So try to get that 90 degree angle or more in the base of your big toe joints and stretch it out. Then let's use the external rotation and kind of spin through the toe joint. Good job. Hold it there for a moment. Let's activate your right quadriceps. Inhale, prepare. Pancha dusha, exhale, fold. One. Two, deep breaths. Three, steady. Four, five. Shodisha, inhale. Exhale, let's rescue the toes. All right. Saptadisha, inhale, let's pick it up. Astadisha, all the way back. Chaturanga. Ekuna vim shatihi, inhale. Vim shatihi, exhale. Sapta again, all the way through. Marichasana A. All right, now we're going to bend the right knee joint. We're starting the Marichasana series. This is kind of like the bread and butter of primary series right now. So your right hip joint is going to come off the ground. So you want to get that feeling of when you pivot forward, the right hip joint comes off the ground. This pushes your chest forward. But we want to keep a separation between the shoulder and the knee. Then spiral your shoulder forward and reach the hand around. If you have a strap or a towel handy, you can kind of loop that around so that the hands can more easily bind. You can walk yourself into the hands on the strap. Inhale, prepare. Ashto, exhale, fold. One. Two. Deep breathing. Three. 
Chest moves down to the left of the knee, gaze at the toes or forward to the toes or nose. Three, watch your pelvic floor, keep it in. Four, deep breathing. Five, Nava, inhale, lean back into your right hip to pop the chest up. Exhale here, release your hands, release the strap, remove your shoulder. Try not to jump back from there. We're gonna cross the feet, all right? Now, Dasha, inhale, we pick it up. Ekadasha, find your way back to Chaturanga. Dwadasha, inhale. Trayogdasha, exhale. Chikturadasha, inhale, jump. Find your way into the other side. All right, we're gonna bend the knee joint. Remember, we come forward. Maybe you don't need the strap, so we can try without. Come forward, your left hip comes off the ground. Try to find that moment when your torso slides forward. Then wrapping your arms around. Inhale, prepare. A nice big breath in. Panjadisha, exhale, fold. Activate the pelvic floor as you fold. For one, two, don't fight for the bind. If the strap is better for you, let's use the strap. Three, deep breathing. Four, shoulder blades away from the ears. One more. Five, shodisha, inhale, push back into the left hip, chest is up. Exhale there, hands to the ground. All right, saptadisha, inhale. Maybe you wanna use the blocks a few times, all right? Inhale, we pick it up. Astadish, jump back, chaturanga. Ekuna vim shatihi, inhale. Vim shatihi, exhale. Sapta again, all the way through. All right, now I'm gonna have some fun. Maricha is in a B position, all right? So in B position, we're moving into half lotus. Half lotus might not be accessible for everyone. So first, let's work this variation. Your left knee joint folds into half lotus option. Then you're gonna find the strap. Let's get the strap in place. Fold forward, spiraling the shoulder forward. The right hip comes off the ground. Then we lasso the strap around. Inhale, prepare, deep breath in. Ashto, exhale, fold. If the lotus position is better for you, we can do the exact same movement, coming forward and around in lotus. One, two, again, feel welcome to use the strap if that feels better for your shoulders. Three, four, five, Nava, inhale, exhale. Remove the bind, straighten your right leg, remove your lotus position. Now, cross the feet. Dasha, inhale, we pick it up. Ekadasha, jump, step back, chaturanga. Dwadasha, inhale. Trayogdasha, exhale. Chikturdasha, inhale, jump. And prepare for the other side. Maybe you wanna try without the lotus. All right, get your prepare. Panchadisha, exhale, fold. One. Maybe with the lotus is better for you. Remember, it's your practice. Two. Three. Four. Almost there. Just keep forward so the left hip comes off the ground. You can feel a little ankle flexion on the left side. Five, shodisha, inhale. Now we send the hip back to pick it up. Release the strap, exhale there. Straighten the legs, come back. Saptadisha, inhale, let's pick it up. Astadisha, find your way back. Chaturanga. Ekuna vimshatihi, inhale, upward facing. Vimshatihi, exhale. Downward facing, Marichasana C. Sapta, inhale, jump. Exhale, let's sit down. Straighten the legs. All right, now we're gonna move into a twist. So this one, you want your hips to be firmly planted on the ground, okay? Let's bend your right knee up into the body. Try to close the knee joint. If you need to keep it open, you can welcome to do that, but it'll be easier to find the 
sort of depth of the posture with the knee joint closed. Leave a little space between the foot and your thigh. Now we begin to twist. Keep your right hip really firmly planted and grounded, because when we twist, this often happens. And then instead of twisting the spine, we just rotate inside the pelvis. We want to keep the pelvis grounded as part of your foundation. Now hook your forearm, left forearm around the right shin. Inhale, lift from the spinal axis. And then exhale, twist. Your right hand can reach behind you and push your body weight forward. Good. Looking good. Now, for some of you who feel, wow, this is quite, you know, this feels like I'm not really twisting yet. Make sure you're twisting away from the left side. So you're twisting into the right thigh, all right? Then reach the left shoulder around and bend the elbow around the shin bone. And that's the hard part. Bend the elbow. If that didn't work for you, go back to the first option. Only if you were able to bend the elbow around the shin, then we reach around. So the first option is to snuggle the knee and twist to the side. We don't want to repeat any, any other of the other Marichasana A or one of the other versions, okay? So we're going to snuggle and twist. Now we stay for five breaths. So we got one. And we can also be here where we just kind of wrap the arm around and lean to the right. Two. You can also use a strap. Sometimes if we line the strap over, that helps also. Three, you kind of hold on to the strap. Four, give it a shot. Deep breaths. Five, release. Inhale, back to the front. It's kind of an intense one. Let's cross the feet. Ashto, inhale, we pick it up. Nava, step or jump back. Chaturanga. Dasha, inhale, upward facing. Ekadasha, downward facing. Left side, Dwadasha, inhale, jump, and straighten the legs. All right, we're going to bend the left knee. Now, many people make a mistake and they open twist. So for open twisting, this is, this is sort of like Marichasana A, uh, which we did already. So the C position is a twist towards, it's a closed hip twist. So make sure that that hip is firmly planted on the ground. So our first option is to snuggle the knee inside the nook of the armpit, and then inhale, lift the center of the chest, and then just gaze to the left side. You don't need to go any further than this. Now, if you feel your pelvis start to compensate, then you've reached your limit. That's good for you. Then let's go for some options. Maybe the strap is going to be there ready for you. Then our first task is moving your torso around your thigh. So we're closing the hip even more, using the left fingers to push forward. Left hip stays on the ground. We reach around. We find the strap. Reach around with the other hand. Maybe you can find the strap. Maybe you can even walk in and bind your hands. Look to the left. One. Two. Steady. Three. We can go back to any of the steps. Four, so we could just be here, gazing behind, keeping the weight pushed forward, deep breathing. This is hard to breathe. Try anyway. Five, release, and slowly come back to the front. Okay, this is a hard one. All right. Trayog Disha, inhale, we pick it up. And Chaktor Disha, exhale, step or jump back, lower down. Pancha Disha, inhale, upward facing. Shodisha, exhale. Downward facing. Sapta again, jump. Marichasana D. All right, Marichasana D, difficult pose. This one's very difficult. So I want you to leave feeling good, so don't force. Now, let's try without the lotus position. Just like Marichasana B, you're going to fold the knee into kind of a pointed toe version of Janushasana. Then the foot lines up with the, kind of the base of the big toe, so right foot to the base of the left big toe. Then we prepare to twist, just as we did in C. We're snuggling the shin bone into the nook of the armpit, and then inhale, lift, and exhale, look behind you. You're going to need quite a lot of weight to push out of your lower back. So you can use your fingertips until your pelvic floor and your core muscles are strong enough, and then we can just hug in. Those of you with the lotus position, and you'll have a slightly different direction. So pay attention if we have our lotus. Get a good lotus position. Do not try with the hip on the ground. Instead, for those of you working lotus position, pivot forward just like we were doing marichas in a B. And then instead of folding forward, you're going to hug the knee into the chest. And then slowly spiral around. Slowly spiral around until 
There's no gap between your armpit and the knee. And then your hip is a little off the ground. As soon as there's no gap between the armpit and the knee, then you'll be able to guide your elbow around and then we'll have the posture. We'll stay quick five breaths. So we got one, two, make your peace with wherever you got to, three, if you didn't find, it's okay. We're just here hugging, it's all good. Four, excellent work, right? So we can find our variation. Five, then we sit back, straighten the leg, remove the lotus. Okay, Ash, so inhale, we pick it up. Nava, step, jump back, chaturanga. Dasha, inhale, upward facing. Ekadasha, downward facing. Dwarasha, inhale, jump. Switch the sides. Okay, so now we we'll do the no lotus version. We can fold in, snuggle, and press. You can bind this variation as well. So if that feels good for you, if you feel you have good weight to be able to lift your body in, we're welcome to spiral around and look for a bind. If there's any pressure in the lower back, go back to pushing the fingertips. Now. Let's work our lotus position variations. Remember a good lotus position. And then the knee comes up. Do not twist from here. It's one of the biggest mistakes in this asana. We start to twist from here. All the pressure goes into the knee. So remember our first step, pivot forward. If you cannot balance, you put a block, maybe a little smaller than that one, underneath your back hip, and this will help you keep your body weight a little bit forward. If you need assistance with the binding, you can lay that strap down over and prepare it, right? Or we can just not worry about the bind and focus only on the spinal twist. Good, give you another moment to find which variation is right for you. We're thinking about moving in, maybe holding onto the strap, maybe finding the fingers on the strap for one. Two, totally normal to feel a weird short breath. Three, four, and five. Releasing, sink back into the left hip, straighten left leg, remove. Now, I'd like to go ahead and get those blocks in place because we're gonna put them to use for the next movement, all right? So I know that the whole body feels like there's no way I can do any more, but we're almost done. I said half primary, so we only have one more asana left. And now let's prepare to jump back. So let's cross the feet. Trayog disha, inhale, we pick it up. Chiktura disha, jump back, chaturanga. Pancha disha, inhale, upward facing. Shodisha, exhale. Downward facing. And our last asana, Navasana. Sapta, inhale, jump, sit down. Okay. First Navasana variation, hold underneath the knees. I should also say you don't have to use the blocks. I'm just trying to make the lift up more accessible. So if you're block averse, then, or if you don't have blocks, you can just do everything without. We can hold underneath the knees. If you're familiar with Navasana and you want to straighten your legs, go for it. We've got one. Deep breathing. Two. Three, four, almost there. Five, cross your feet. Now, Ashto, inhale, pick it up. Sapta again, Navasana. This time maybe we can hold the ankles. How about that? One, find the way to keep working. If it's too much for you, repeat variation number one. Two, three, four, that's it, keep it working. Five, cross your feet. Ashto, inhale, pick it up, press, put it down. All right, let's do it again. Navasana, maybe no hands, maybe too much. One, <laughs> maybe no hands, bend the knees. Try that one. Two, lower abdominal muscles, keep it firm. Three, the knees a little apart, that helps soften the hip flexor work. Four, five, let's cross. Ashto, inhale, push, pick it up. Put it down. Sapta again, two more times. One, now be straight in, try to straight in. Two, big toe joints reaching towards each other. Three, toes point, look at the toes. Four, you can do it, don't give up. Five, cross, ash, so inhale, pick it up. Sapta again, last time. Doesn't that sound nice? Last time. One, two, just take it easy, and you go back to this version, it's no problem, just keep working. Three, it's all good. Four, just don't go down. All right, 
Breathe again. One more. Five. Cross your feet. Ashto and now pick it up. Good job. Let's move the blocks out of the way. All right. Nava. Exhale. And chaturanga. Let's go all the way flat. Isn't that nice? Give the hips a break for a moment. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Dasha. Inhale. Upward facing. Yay, Kaudasha. And downward facing. Switch your gaze forward. Sapta, inhale, jump. Exhale. Let's lie down. All right. So now I'm just going to turn around this way for a moment. I want you to lie all the way down. We're going to do three simple bridges. So let's prepare. We'll do some more intensive backbending on the fifth class that we'll have together. So Ashto, prepare. Simple bridge. Let's reach down towards the heels. If you can easily hold your ankles, please feel welcome. Otherwise, let's ashto prepare and interlace the fingers. And then nava inhale, lift the hips. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, dasha, exhale, down. Now, you can repeat the simple bridge or hands underneath your shoulders. We'll work on Urdhva Dhanurasana. All right, so ashto, prepare. Spiral the knees a little towards each other to prevent the knees from splaying too much out to the sides. Now we're gonna lift with the pelvis, then with the back muscles, and then all the way up. Nava, inhale. Urdhva Dhanurasana, keep your gaze down, one. Take it easy, no stress. Two, three, four, five. Bend the elbows, and dasha, exhale, head down only. Try to only put the head down, it's a little difficult. Walk the hands in. All right, we're gonna deepen our Urdhva Dhanurasana or stay in the simple bridge. Elbows towards each other, hips, to the spine and the nava. Inhale, all the way up. Gaze between the hands. We've got one, two, no stress, nothing to prove. Three, four, five. Dasha, exhale, head down. Walk the hands a little out. Let's come all the way down. Draw the knees into the chest. And then let's inhale all the way up. Let's roll it up. Paschimottanasana. Ashto, inhale, prepare. Nava, exhale, fold. We stay for five. One. We could also stay for ten, but today just five. Two. Three. Deep breathing. Four. Five, six, seven. <laughs> I said we were only going to stay for five. Let's just do the last ones. Eight. Let's just have it right there. <laughs> Nine. Ten. Good. And dasha, inhale, lift the head up, gaze with the toes, exhale there. That long forward fold always marks the transition to the closing poses. So let's walk your hands back, scoot again the hips forward, and exhale, lie down. We're going to lie all the way down. Take a moment and make sure your hair accessories are in a good place. Hands next to your hips. Stay here for a moment. So just collect your energy along the center line, eyes closed. Feel the pelvic floor, deep breathing. Very good, one more breath. Nice, open the eyes. Now we prepare for shoulder stand. So Ashto inhale, Sarvangasana, or shoulder stand. We can start off with the legs in Viprita Karani. Some of you might not go further than that. Totally okay, we could put the legs up the wall. If you're already in shoulder stand, wonderful. You can stay there. You can put the hips up on a block. This is also a way to get a little more inversion if we're not ready to lift up, if you're having any neck issues, for example. From here, we can roll the shoulder blades a little underneath and then use that block as a little platform. We can take the hands to the sacrum. Finding yourself in a little V-shape, 
kind of allows a little more weight to go into the elbows. And then eventually we can lift, moving the hands more towards the upper back and we'll find shoulder stand for one, two, deep breaths. Your chin is gonna touch the sternum or reach towards there, three, four, if it's too difficult, go back to one of the other variations. Five, sometimes the V-shape is maybe enough. Six, what feels better for you, what feels lifted for you. Seven, keep lifting. Eight, nine, and 10. Now everybody come to the V-shape. We're gonna make halasana position. This is plow pose. So if your feet don't touch the ground, I want you to keep your hands right at the lower back. If the feet touch the ground, then point the feet, interlace the fingers, and if the block is there, it needs to be removed. If you cannot interlace the fingers, we can also grab a strap. One, two, three, we're gonna stay for five, Four, and five, Karna Pidasana. Ashto, round your back, bend the knees, and try to touch at least the tips of the toes together, and then let's gently squeeze a little bit with your thighs. One, two, three, Four. Now, if this gets too much for the neck, a uh, happy baby is a really good alternative. So we can think about that uh, happy baby is a really nice alternative, right? So if it's too much for the neck, happy baby, good alternative, all right? So continuing on from our Karnapidasana, hands to the lower back, inhale, lift all the way up to the upper back. Without the lotus, you're gonna cross your shin bones. And with the lotus, you might need your hands to assist your lotus position. Hands to the knees, Urdhva Padmasana. Stay for five. If it's too much, I'd like you to lie down. And then from lying down, you can get the feeling of the posture by pressing into the knees. And we'll hold that for five. So we have one. Either you're gonna stay in shoulder stand or you just stay right here. Two, three, Four, we're almost there. Five, Pindasana, lying down version. You can hug the knees into the chest with or without the lotus. And the same thing from shoulder stand. One, two, three, four, almost there. Five, let's take the hands down and then roll the spine gently down. Sometimes in shoulder stand, we can get like little cramps in the rib cage. If that happens, you wanna lie down and do it from the reclining position. Let's maintain the lotus if you have your lotus and then slowly reach the lotus towards the ground. Press into the elbows, pick yourself all the way up, drop the head back, then hands to your lotus feet, all right? Now without the lotus, Point your feet and hands, hold onto your thighs and elbows back. So there's two different versions, with lotus, elbows straight, without the lotus, elbows bend. Gaze at the nose tip. One, two, three, four, almost there, five. Now bend the knees if they're straight, then release your lotus and then everybody's straight legs. This is Uttana Padasana. This is a challenging pose. So if you have any neck issues, I want you to lie completely flat and then arms and legs straight. So let's stay here for one. Find what works better for you. Two, three, four. We can also do this with just toes on the ground. Also a good option. Four, let's do one more breath. Five, now draw the knees into the chest, flatten the spine. We're gonna do an exit from this, it's not for everyone. We're gonna take chakrasana, which is backwards roll, right? Any neck issues, any fear, sit up, prepare to jump back, all right? All right, so hands under the shoulders, 
If we did Carnipid Asana, this should be accessible for us. Let's just clear the space a little bit. All right, now, here we go. Ndasha, inhale, we come over, take a moment there, then feel the shoulders, feel your spine, and then inhale, all the way over, so we pivot around the axis of the shoulder joint, good, and then walk forward, and exhale, and chaturanga, good. Ikadasha, inhale, upward facing, Dwadasha, exhale, downward facing, and Sapta, inhale, come forward, sit down, good, I'm going to do the last three poses now, and orient forward to you. So, tomorrow we'll explore some complete inversions. So tomorrow we'll take a look at some headstand experiences. So for right now, we take our simple cross-legged position, or if it's better for you, our full lotus position. And we're gonna find what works. All right, so this is Baddha Padmasana. And then we bind the Padmasana. And then, then it's also an option to wrap your feet with the strap and hold on to the strap. Sometimes it can be hard to find, but it's also an option to kind of give the feeling of the bind. So if you have that strap handy, please feel welcome. Just hold the elbows behind your back. Inhale, prepare, deep breath in. Yoga mudra, nava exhale, fold. One. Deep breathing. Two. Three. Four, five, <coughs> six, seven, steady breathing, eight, nine, ten. Dasha, inhale, come up. Extend the arms, tips of your index fingers. <coughs> I'm sorry, I just got something in my throat. <coughs> Good. Dasha, inhale, come up. Tips of your index fingers and thumbs touching. And gaze at the nose tip. Ten deep breaths. One. Two. Concentrate the mind on the inner body. Come back to yourself. Three. Four. <clears throat> five. Steady breathing. Six, gaze at the nose tip, that deep, powerful introspection. Seven, eight, almost there. Nine. Ten. Okay. Utplutihi. Here we go. Let's use the blocks. Let's try to stay all the way up. Let's stay up for a full ten count. Okay? You can do it. Especially with the blocks. You don't want to use the blocks? No problem. Remember, blocks not mandatory, but it might make it just a little bit easier. Right? Okay. Ekadasha. Inhale. Let's pick it up for one, two, three, four, Doing good. Try to gaze at the nose tip. Nice. Five. Let's lift the knees a little. Good. Six. Seven. Good. How you doing? Keep it breathing. Eight. Little shaking. No problem. Nine. You got this. Lift up a little bit higher for the last one. Ten. Good job. You made it. All right. Come off the blocks, remove them. Let's take the lotus completely out. Good. All right, eventually you'll jump back from the lotus, but it's good for today. Ndwadasha, come on back. And Chaturanga. 
Uttarayu Gdisha. Inhale, upward facing. Chikthur Disha, exhale, downward facing. We're going to come back up to Samasthitihi, the traditional place for the closing prayer. Inhale, step or jump your feet forward between the hands. Exhale, fold. Samasthitihi, back to standing. Hands in prayer. Om Swasti Prajabhyaha Paripalayantam Nyayena Margena Mahim Mahishaha Gobramanebhyaha Shubhamastu Nityam Lokaha Samastaha Sukino bhavantu Om Shanti 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 E come inhale, reach up. Dwe exhale, fold. Trini inhale. Chatwari, exhale, step or jump back, lower down. Pancha, inhale. Shat, exhale. Sapta, inhale, all the way through. Let's lie down, take rest. Take a moment, settle yourself comfortably. And then all the way down. Allow yourself a long, deep breath in. And then exhale, let everything go. One more time, a long, deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Just a complete release. That's good. Settle the breath, settle the mind, settle the body. Trust that the practice is working through you deeply, no matter what shapes of the asanas were accessible to you, just that you showed up, that you did the work. Take a moment and feel gratitude for the grace that it is to be practicing right now. Out of all the suffering there is in this world, you have the great good fortune, the blessing to be here practicing yoga. No matter what asanas you could do or couldn't do, that grace, that blessing, that's enough. Enough to celebrate, enough to bring joy, enough to bring kindness and love into your heart. We are here practicing together, receiving this gift of the lineage of the practice. And we make the commitment as we receive these wonderful blessings to share whatever peace, whatever harmony we have known to make our world a better place, to be kinder to ourselves, to forgive ourselves, to love ourselves, to be kinder, more forgiving, more loving towards every being in our life, those whom we easily love, those whom we are neutral towards, and those beings whom are a little difficult to love. We make the commitment to be a little nicer, kinder, more forgiving, more loving towards all beings, including ourselves. Now feeling that sense of renewal, the change in the inner atmosphere through breath, body, and mind. Move the fingers and toes, the hands and feet. We reawaken the body. Find maybe a little stretch. Oh, that feels like, oh, a completion, an initiation, a beginning, and also an ending. 
Draw the knees into the chest, a little squeeze in. Exhale, release the knees, roll over onto the side. Let's inhale all the way back up. Find your comfortable seated position. Close the eyes. And be aware of the change, the shift. Every practice should make our world a little bit better place, even if that world is entirely private. Hands come into prayer position, a long, deep breath in. As you exhale, softly open the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me on this practice. May you be happy, may you be peaceful, may you be filled with love. I'll see you tomorrow for the practice. And tomorrow, in the next two days, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into a little bit of the technique of the remaining postures of primary series. We'll continue to evolve and deepen our understanding of the Ashtanga Yoga method. And we always give thanks to the lineage, give thanks to our teachers. And as the teacher, I give thanks to you, the student, for joining me on this practice. Thank you so much, and have a good day. And I hope you had a good practice. And I look forward so much to seeing you on the mat tomorrow.